Hello there, Virgo. Welcome. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see. What's this energy? Energy feels choppy to me. What's going on? Oof. Getting a little pain. What the heck is that? Okay, got a little sharp pain in my shoulder on the right side and back. Okay, it's just a little one. What that was. <laughs> Ooh, we're starting off with the five of air. Hmm, maybe that's what it's like a little pay, uh, stab in the back, maybe? It's like, but it's really, it wasn't really anything. It's like if someone's trying to stab you in the back, then it's almost like they're using a rubber knife or something. It's like, um, so it says an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. Yeah, someone's trying to pull something, but I don't think they're going to get away with it. Because that's why I felt, maybe that's why I got that little like little tinge a little pinch it was hardly anything it's like <laughs> but it's weird okay so that is that and there might be a few people like a group of people um, and then we have the queen of earth here so this is generous practical gracious materialistic the ability to make anything more beautiful a love of family and home be practical about how you proceed a love of art and beauty a sensible approach so this is um your energy um queen of earth queen of pentacles a virgo um taurus a capricorn or it could be someone you're dealing with it could be also someone that's you can't trust too with the five of swords here but we'll get into this a little more let's see we have the four of swords so this um is insights that come from meditation the need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental and exhausting. Get more sleep. Yeah, so you might be, um, your mind, your mind might be racing at night. You're not sleeping well. Got too much on your mind. This is also a card of recovery. It's a card of meditation. So you might be, um, you might be going to a, a resort, maybe a spa to meditate, to chill out. Okay, now this card is in the past, and this is the Seven of Swords. So this is a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions, a material loss. Make sure you are being uh, honest with yourself, embarrassing secrets. Yeah, I almost feel like someone did take something from someone. Someone stole something from you in the recent past. Was it an object out of your house that you didn't realize was missing right away? I feel like something was missing and you didn't realize it right away. And you sort of know who it is, but you can't really prove it. I don't know. That's not going to be for everyone. Anyway. Ooh, crowning you. We have the two of water, two cups. Fallen in love or resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the, and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. So there might be a love offer coming in. This is a soulmate connection. This calls will be a partnership in business. And then we have renewal. Okay, this definitely could be someone coming back in now. We have this renewal. This is judgment. This is someone coming back around. This is um, revealing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity of your life, purpose, in your heart, you know what, what to do. And instead of saying head, I was going to say heal. So I feel like you're healing something here. Okay, and then we have in here the lovers. Ooh, okay, this looks good. We have embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from illness. That's what I felt here. You're recovering from illness. <clears throat> Someone's recovering from illness. There's also a choice again. Two's are always decision. This is a choice card. It started out with a choice card before they named it the lovers. <clears throat> Soulmate is an all twin plane connection as Gemini. Okay, so now we have this is your energy. You're coming across as the Knight of Pentacles. So it's loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. I feel like this is your energy that people see you as very stable, reliable. They can depend on you. And if anything, they need something done or they need advice, they go to you. That's the energy I'm feeling. That people feel very confident of going to you. And they also feel like they can confide in you. Okay, now we have here, coming in here, we have, this is, an, this is your independence. This is doing well with financial abundance and being independent. You could be even starting something new, maybe a business here. It's enjoying the fruits of your labors, hard work, 
that has led you to luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying your solitude. Yeah, I think you're doing quite well. You feel very stable, reliable, and I feel very, you feel comfortable. Your energy feels very comfortable. And that's why I think people are a little jealous of what you're able to obtain and what, what you're able to do. So you have to sort of watch that energy a little bit. And we have this star. This is Aquarius energy. You are standing bright. You're standing out. This is your hopes, your dreams, your wishes come true. And we have, have faith in the future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive change that bring an end to challenging times. A light at the end of the tunnel. You're getting noticed. People, you're standing out. And we also have, this could be in work because this is the work card here. Learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor, attention to detail, skilled work that you love. See the way this person's person, this, this gentleman here is admiring how this woman is working and the work she does. You know, he looks like he's more like he's smitten with her, not with her work, but um, he's staring at her, not what she's doing. But so there could be someone that actually is smitten with you at work here. Okay, that's the Eight of Pentacles, Eight Earth. And then we have, ooh, the Three of Cups. You're going to be going out and having a good time here. This is celebrating. This is going to like a wedding or a shower. Or no, well, if you're a guy, you probably don't want to go to shower. But a stag, it's like, okay. So it says, news worth celebrating, joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation, a time for gratitude, close communities, or chosen family. So you could be going out and having a good time, maybe with someone from work that likes you. Or it could be, you definitely have a, a love connection going on here. Bottom of the deck, we have protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. All your angels, ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. So, you're going to protect this connection, I think. And I think, I also feel like there is a very strong connection, uh, protection around this connection. I think your angels and guides are are protecting me. I feel a very strong presence of protection. Now let's see. I'm not worried about this by a sword because this, whoever these people are, they're going to get theirs. It just feels like they're, you know, they're jealous and it always comes back. To be jealous of somebody, it just comes back on you. So why do we have this five of swords here? Let's see. Yeah, you're going to be victorious here. You're going to, you don't have anything to worry about here. That's why these people are jealous. You are standing out. You have the star card. You have the six of wands. You're getting attention. You're probably getting um, awards and recognition. You're just really doing great here. And why do we have this queen of wands? Oh, queen of wands. Queen of earth. Sorry. Why do we have this queen of earth here? The high priestess. Okay, so that is your energy because we have Virgo here. This is Cancer Virgo and this is um, Capricorn Virgo and Taurus. So this is definitely your energy. Your intuition is very high at this time. You are manifesting. You are just really connected. And I'm feeling this very strong that you guys probably have a practice, a spiritual practice or something that you do, maybe even a business because you have this with the queen of pentacles who is very abundant financially secure is a good business person and then you also have this meditation card here with the high priestess so it feels like you really do get into your meditation you get into spiritual practice you know how to go within you know how to quiet the mind and um this is lovely okay now why do we have the four of swords here Ooh, shocking. Something's coming in here that's going to surprise you. It almost feels like something's going to expand. It feels like it's, if this is your spiritual practice. Something's going to just expand, just um, going to shock you how much you're going to be. Or when you're meditating, you're going to get a, a revelation or there's some kind of vision you're going to see that's really going to surprise you but it's going to help you so much and after the tower comes the star so this just feels really good so whatever's coming in for you it feels really amazing whatever the, and the tower is scorpio and aries energy okay so why do we have the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here in the recent past we have the emperor okay 
So did you have some dealings with an Aries or else an Emperor or a boss or someone in charge that actually stole from you? I, I, I'm getting this card of stealing. I feel someone stole. Now the Emperor could be, you, you know, they're stealing from you if you got underpaid. But I'm feeling an energy, and this is not going to be for everyone, that this um, Emperor here did steal, was sneaky, or try to get over on you, or um, was not very honest, corrupt. I'm getting a, the word corrupt. Uh, yeah, this was person that you cannot trust here, whoever this person was or is. But they they are in your past. But I'm feeling for some people that they, they're in your house and they took something from it. Okay, so now why do we have the two of water, two of cups? Okay, yeah, you're going to get married. If, or else engaged or move in with someone here. This is a, a long-term commitment. Definitely happening here. For somebody, whoever I'm tapping into, I mean, if it's not for you, you don't have anybody in mind, or you, you know, if you're not interested in getting married, well, then you're not going to, because then you don't want that. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have the renewal card here? Temperance, Sagittarius, balancing things out, having patience. I think someone had patience with this, trying to bring this back together, whether it's you or this person that's coming in. But they had a lot of patience, and um, they see this as a bl very blessed connection. Okay, what about the lovers? Why is the lovers here? We have Scorpio energy, loving it. So this is a ending for a new beginning. This is a transformation. And this, I think you guys are, have transformed each other's. Your love is like expansive. That's the only thing I can think of. As, it's, it's, it's going beyond. Um, definitely, I feel like this is a soulmate connection. This is a past life connection. And that's why this is death and rebirth, because you're coming back together again from a previous life. You're coming back in again. It feels very strong, and it feels like you guys been through many lifetimes. And I'm feeling that um, it's almost like when you're, like, like say if you're um, not together or you haven't even been with this person yet, I almost feel like you're seeing the same vision at the same time. Like say if you um, went on a vacation, different places or something, but you both are seeing the sunset at the same time, or you're both looking at the mountains, or you're both at the ocean. It almost feels like you're at the same type of area, not the same place, but like you're both in the mountains at the same time. You both decide to go to the beach at the si same time. And you, you're going to find out that later. Like you say, okay, I was in um, so-and-so or something. So in the mountains. Say, I was in the mountains over here at the same time. That's the energy I feel. You have this connection like that. That you guys are mirroring each other in everything. It feels like really tight here. Real close um, connection. So why do we have this Knight of uh, Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles, putting the work in. You both want to put the work in, and this is you putting a lot of work into whatever you do. I feel like you make sure that you you nurture things. No matter what it is, you always make sure that you nurture it. Um, why do we have this Nine of Pentacles? Well, we got a lot of Pentacles, don't we? Abundance, money. Woo. And we have Six of Swords. This is you moving away from rough times into your independence. So if you start a new business or something, it's going to flourish. If you you might be leaving a company or maybe especially this corrupt boss, maybe that's why they're, you know, you had to leave them because it was not a fair situation. It was very bad, very toxic environment or this person's very toxic or this person, I don't like their energy at all. Whoever this person is, I don't like this energy. <laughs> don't even like looking at the card right now. <laughs> And so you're moving away, you're moving away from that to so something to your own independence, doing quite well now. What about the star? Why is the star here? Whoop! Who flipped out? Okay, this one. You see, moving away from burdens into your stardom, and you might become famous, or you're getting noticed. You know, there's definitely attention on you. What about this Eight of Pentacles? Four of Swords. Yeah, someone's thinking about you, and it might be someone from work. But someone thinks about you quite heavily, and they want to work on this connection. Okay, and let's see. Why do we have the three of clubs? Look at that 
this is your everything's going to change here you're coming in time of great fortune lucky time and it's going you're going to be celebrating here you're going to be going out you're going to be celebrating these wins whatever's happening how your, your whole life is changing it's amazing it's very good very nice and then we have ten of swords walking away from this this horrible ending i think this is walking away from this person it's just like it was horrible there's an end to that and so now that's over so that's good that's so good and this is a lot of endings because you have the ten of swords i mean the ten of wands sorry ten of wands ten of swords the wheel of fortune's a ten i think that's it right well still that's to have three tens here that's pretty amazing okay now let's see what the word is what's the word for you guys who's the first person here who do we have here i don't think we have to make oh yeah we got the queen gotta start the queen why is the queen of pentacles here what's the word on this queen which i think is your energy but listen we have together friends denying freedom what is that hmm okay yeah you know what this has something about you breaking away from these these people here the five of swords so they want to try to they don't want you to break away from them these friends want you to stay together and you're breaking you're you're breaking away from them that's probably another why the ten of swords is up here is that this is you getting your independence this nine here it's also your independence from these people that were bad they could be people at work too and maybe they're so-called friends but they're not because maybe they they're a lot like this person you kind of you might have been working in an environment the whole environment was toxic and that's why these people didn't like that you were you know showing maybe initiative to do something different or you're shining brighter than them and they didn't like it so they're trying to sabotage you but you surprised everyone here with this tower you broke through free from all this let's see where's the next one here okay i guess it's the knight of pentacles let's see what's the scoop on this knight of pentacles we have immature fear technology okay so someone might have been immature and now they're going to apologize for that because they're immature because they're fear maybe they're the fear of losing you or maybe something i don't know how that works but um you tell me it might make sense to you or maybe this doesn't make sense i'm not really because i was thinking this is your energy so working on something so i don't know why this is coming up to tell you the truth let's see let's see if i get some energy on it let's see let me see here I don't know. All I, all I get is that this fear that someone had was immature. May they apologize for being immature. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't get any more on that. I'm blocked. Let's see. That's it. No more people. Okay. So we'll go right into the signs. What signs do we have? Sort of bothers me i don't know that doesn't make sense but hey <laughs> it might make sense to someone someone's gonna say you know i know exactly what that means <laughs> and i i don't have to know it's not me <laughs> i'm just a messenger <laughs> and i'm a channeler <laughs> okay let's see what signs we have sagittarius pisces oh Feels like I don't feel right to pull these yet. Okay, there we go. Aquarius. Aries upside down. Whoa! Isn't that funny? <laughs> the Emperor is upside down. Okay, let's fix them. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Gemini. Ooh, now I'm getting a pain in this wrist. Why is that? Does someone have like it feels like almost like it hurts when you you twist it? i don't know gemini again okay we did have the lovers here so what's that that's really weird and and I'll, that was when i went to flip the aries back over wow maybe i wasn't supposed to flip it you know what <laughs> all right <laughs> oh sorry but see that feels better 
<laughs> okay, so now these are placements in your chart, placements in the people's chart. Um, this is, um, could be past people, present people, future people that you don't even know their signs yet. Okay, so we have Sagittarius, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, and Gemini. Okay, now let's see. What letters do we have here? This is for your initials. First name, middle name, last name. It could be people you know, people you don't know, people coming in. We have past, present, future. Let's see, we have L, I, L, Y. Oh, look at that. There's a lily there. <laughs> okay, J. Oops. Moving the Y. H. L. Wow. T. Z. P. N. E. So, the letters we have for you today are L I L Y J H L T Z P E. Now for the names. What names do we have for Virgo, please? What are the names? What are the names, please? Let's see what we have here. Al. Capri. Rosemary. Jeff, J E F F. Portia. P O R T I A. Is that how you spell Portia? Port okay. Sergio. Jennifer. Renee. Stacy. Okay, I guess I need a couple more. Just two more. Two more, please. Let me just grab from the bottom. Okay, what do we have here? We have Martin. And we have Darlene. Okay, so those are the names. So remember, guys, this is general reading. It's not a personal reading. So take what re resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, certain things might resonate, certain things might not. So um, it doesn't all have to resonate with you. So um, please let me know if anything resonates and please leave me comments. I love you guys so much and I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And remember to hit the bell if you want to get a notification every time I load up new videos. Then um, YouTube will send you an email saying, hey, there's new videos for your viewing pleasure if you care to do so. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.